So in this video, I want to talk about a stick control exercise inspired by Final Fantasy VII. This comes from the bombing mission track. It consists of four beats, triplets, alternating hands, followed by two more beats, triplets, alternating hands, and finally two beats of triplets, but this time it's going to be doubles. And then that will set you right up to repeat the exercise on the opposite hand. And the goal of this exercise is control. And I don't think drummers practice this enough, myself included, transitioning between singles and doubles. And what tends to happen is the moment you transition from singles to doubles, you either speed up, you throw some accents in there, or you slow down. The, the notes don't sound even, some sound louder or softer than others, but the goal for this exercise is to make the notes, whether you're doing singles or doubles, left hand or right hand, all of the notes, try to make them sound as even as possible and as evenly spaced as possible. What I like about this is that the first 18 notes are all singles. So your brain, your muscles, your hands, your fingers, your arms, everything's working together. You're getting used to it, to playing singles over 18 notes. And then all of a sudden, for six notes, you switch to doubles. And your brain and everything, you tend to panic, like, oh no, we're changing to doubles. That's why the sound of your sticks, the sounds of the drum, the sound of the pad, it changes. But the goal of this, if you repeat it long enough, the goal is to have an even sound transitioning from singles to doubles and doubles to singles. Another possibility for this exercise and an, or exercises like this is you can start to add flams. And the possibilities for this exercise are endless. So you could even try to do a kind of herta variation on this. You could apply this to the toms, you can incorporate your feet. Like I said, the possibilities are endless. Try this out, try this out slow. I'm guilty of this too. Not enough drummers practice exercises slow because I know everyone wants to go fast right away. That's what I tend to do. Like, okay, I got it down slow. I did it once. Now I'm gonna do it fast. That's not really how it works. You need to practice at various tempos for a long period of time so that everything working together, your brain, your muscles, your arms, fingers, wrists, it can get used to the, the feel of playing this at a slow tempo so that when you finally do try to play it fast, your brain doesn't freak out. So try this out, let me know what you think. Also, by the way, if you try the Crisis Core version of this, it's a lot faster, it's a lot fun to play it at that tempo as well. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.